Hello friends, Quartz here, and today we're doing another Minor Meter tutorial. Uh, what we're doing today is lifelike movements. I'm not sure if that's going to be the title, but just go with me. Whatever the title is, it's something to do with lifelike movements. And it's just a couple of tips and tricks just to show you what to do to make your character come alive. Because at the moment, as you can see, Steve looks a bit dead. Um, but that's okay, we're going to fix him. Now, I've made some things beforehand. I say beforehand, I've actually done a recording, and for some reason it didn't record right. So what I'm saying is now is I've done it beforehand so I look more prepared. <laughs> um, basically, what we started with is just the blink. Now, the reason for that is, hang on, let's move this just over here, right? So we're starting here, 135, right? As you may have noticed, I'm using the file from beforehand. Uh, in my other tutorial about the lip syncing so this download will be available once more it won't have this extra bit that I've just done but you will be able to get the Steve rig and the lip syncing basics so you can mess around and do what you want with there if you want it or do it yourself whichever is good and basically hang on that's not right that's supposed to be there see symmetry okay so basically just a couple of tips and tricks like I was saying uh, what we want to start with is blinking now if I show you this there blink right and also what I'm doing is another trick is just have the head til tilt tilt have the head tilt that's a funny word and um, but what we're doing is blinking because blinking really makes a character come alive now you notice why I did different, right? Because this was a very basic blink. And what I've basically done is obviously bottom eyelids open, bottom eyelids closed, bottom eyelids open, right? But with the eyebrows, I've made the eyebrows last a little longer because the eyebrows start first before the eyes blink, the eyelids blink, and then they're last to open. And if you close your eyes now, and think to yourself, it'll probably, you'll probably say that your eyes do move first. But I always think that the muscle, I think it looks natural if the muscle looks like it's coming from the eyebrows first, as if it was pushing the eyelids down. And I think this looks more natural. Of course, that's up to you. You can make it all symmetrical like that. We move the eyebrows into where the eyelids are. And there, like that. Depends if you want that or the way I prefer it, like that. And this one is a bit more elaborate. Uh, I went over it before, but like I say, the recording didn't come out too well. For some reason, I was I was looking back at the recording and I thought, wow, I'm working really quickly because I'm like, click, 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 click. Then I realized it was out of sync. For some reason, the video started speeding up. So what I've done here differently is I've made this eye slightly out of sync by extending this eyebrow. I've extended this and uh, these two eyelids here. So, and obviously I've done it this side too, but I left the eyebrow the same. And I'd say a good trick is make sure nothing really lines up. If you want something to look lifelike, it's not going to be perfectly symmetrical. So there's your first eye one, and there's your second one. Which one do you think look more realistic? To be honest, they both work. If you could use both at the same time and mess around, then it would be fantastic because just copying and pasting always looks the same. So I would suggest if you were to control C and control V, I would suggest like making these like, oops, I could have done that all in one. Make these like longer and such so you're doing a blink you do another blink and you do another blink so you get what I mean right all right and then what we moved on after the eyebrows was getting the head movements and tracking the eyes and this is something I don't see too many people do but I have seen it done when it's done right it looks fantastic you want this this is exactly what you want Okay, so what we want to start with is the head moves slightly. Oh, something else that I forgot to mention. The ease in, ease out. I use this on practically everything. Not really blinking. That stays linear. 
but the ease in, ease out for body movements is head, arms, torso, all that stuff. That is all ease in, ease out. It is the best, or at least for me. It's the best way to cheat, if anything, I would say. So, right, what we did was we start out with, right, a couple of blinks, and then the head moved to here as if Steve was seeing something. So he went, oh, and then the eyes start moving, right? What really that should be, actually, is the eyes should be moving a lot sooner because the eyes are normally the first thing to move. What we're doing is having the head naturally move and then the eyes catch something. And when the eyes catch something, what they should do is when we get to here, we should have that lined up with that for the sake of the torso moving and then when that gets to there the eyes should be moving back into the center again like so because obviously tracking like if we look at it from here the eyes move they see something and then they move into the middle to where your head's looking obviously because that's where you're going to be facing Okay, so if we look at it from here, get rid of that. The see something, the move, the eyes track back. Now there's an order of things, right? The order of moving things when you are looking at things is eyes, head, then torso. And the reason that is, if you looked at anything in the room right now, the first thing you do is the first thing you would do is your eyes would go to it, then your head, then your torso. It's as simple as that. It's a rule. It, it, to ignore it, it doesn't look right. If the if the torso went first, if put the torso here, so the torso moved and then the head moved, it's kind of, well, why? The torso has no reason to move. When I say torso, I mean body, if people don't understand. I don't, <laughs> don't know if... Uh, was that back where I put it? I think it is. Yeah. Okay. So the reason that is... Uh, the torso seems to be a bit quick, actually. Okay. So the reason that is, like I said, is because your eyes obviously track it first and your head being a smaller muscle will move to it to focus and then the torso just follows naturally. And so you got to remember that. So it's always eyes, head, torso, eyes, head, torso. You got it? You better, right? Now we'll move on. So the head, torso, eyes, right? Then, like I say, it lines up. Now, what I did at this point was I thought, oh, I'll just put like a little shock face and make him look like he's just seen something. Oh. And now he looks a bit confused. So, obviously, it's a very basic way of doing um, facial expressions is the pricking the one eyebrow up. Um, so, that's not right. Oh, yeah, what I did there was I raised that from there to about there so he looks suspicious he looks suspicious over something and then like I said I took the eyebrow and I've just raised it a bit so it's a very basic the, the eyebrow just gets a slight raise there the eye the bottom eyelids are raised too because you look suspicious you know like do a little squint and raise your eyebrow you're gonna look suspicious always have a mirror nearby mirrors are quite useful for this I would definitely recommend a mirror Get a mirror, buy a mirror today. Okay, so yeah, you notice how the eyebrow just scoots up a bit. And then I, from the, 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 from the alphabet, I took the letter M, which is number 60. Mm. The letter M, so he looks like he's going, hmm, hmm. Like he's, he's looking at something, he's went, hmm, what's that? And then to elaborate on the moving, this is only if you're moving really quickly. Uh, you notice the arms coming up like so. Once again, the arms are using the ease in, ease out. And I've went too far. It's just supposed to minus the head. And the, there is, there it is. Ease in, ease out. So they both react at the same time, but I have them stop at different times. And that was what I was saying before. Make sure things don't line up perfectly. This will probably look better if I do that. 
to be honest. That's just how, that's just the rule. And if things line up perfectly, they don't look right. See, if we do that and then that, and we'll have that there, like so, the, the two symmetrical. You just, you don't want that. No, it's not good. You want them to be slightly off, like so. So when you see it in slow motion, this arm on the left starts moving first, followed by the right. Gets surprised, that arm's still moving up as this one on the left just starts to move down. And then the right arm follows it down very slowly. Then they get back down to the bottom. And then I don't stop there. To keep them moving, I have them slightly move. No, I don't. That's that's a lie. Um, but I could have them slightly moving. I thought I had that set up. Um, what you can do is just have it like that and like that. So now when you see it, the arms are just moving slightly. That actually seems quite fast. Now if it just seems too fast, just extend it. Don't change it, just extend it. Right, and then the arms are still slightly moving, and that's how you create natural looks. You have to have things unnecessarily move. If you think it shouldn't move because it's not doing anything, then it's not going to look real. Like, if I could sit still right now and just unnecessarily move, then... I said that wrong. If I was just sitting here right now, trying not to move, I will unnecessarily move. That's what I was trying to say. Like, I just sit here like this. You're going to be breathing, right? Obviously, I'm not going to animate breathing. That'll take ages. And I don't really know how I would do it. Maybe just have the arms moving up and down, I guess. <coughs> um, I suppose I could show you that dead quick, actually. Um... What we want to do is move to position, have them there, move there, and have them there, move them there, and have them back up there, like so. So now it looks like he's breathing, right? Except, once again, the two symmetrical. So what we're going to do is just break them up a little bit, just break them up. Probably not as much as that, that might be noticeable, right? Okay, let's have a look at that. Right, that's still, this is something you probably want closer to the match, but still not symmetrical, you do not want it symmetrical, right? So there's a slight movement, but it's enough to be able to tell that you aren't right and that's breathe breathing basically i suppose if that's how i was going to do it that's i think i've done it before i think in trollsville uh, episode six at the end uh quarters doing some heavy breathing Okay guys, that's it for my tutorial today. Um, I'm just playing it over and over again, just so you get an idea and looking at it. Remember, unnecessary movements are always good, so random head tilts and arms just slightly swaying in the wind, I guess, if they're not moving. And remember the rule of the eyes, the head, and then the torso, if you're gonna turn your character to look at something. This is quite good, it's a good technique, and it should be used because it's the most realistic basically. Put your own twist on it if you like but I'd love to see you take what I've said today into consideration and put it into your own animations because that would mean so much to me and I thank you everybody who's watched it this far okay and uh, I'll see you next time for another tutorial. Bye! Hey, I have taken your nose. I have taken your wife. What? Your wife has left you for me. But why? Because you smell! <laughs>